Once a fairly rare sight, tattoos have become a big part of today's modern world. In fact, some argue that tattoo artists can now do with ink what some of the greats did with paint. Hmm. But could this body of art, if you will, be hiding something deadly? In tonight's special report, CBS Local 2's Megan Terlecki takes a look at what could be lurking underneath your tattoo. I decided to tattoo my life story on me. People have been getting tattoos for nearly 5,000 years. From status symbols to portraits, tattoos have become an art all its own. Real delicate, it almost looks like you're kind of born with it. As beautiful as they can be, tattoos are a part of your skin, skin that can become cancerous. It is crucial. Catch them early and you, it can save your life. But detecting it early can be a challenge. Melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer, often presents itself as black, the most popular color for tattoos. So it would be really hard to detect it if you have a black tattoo on a melanoma that's black. That's exactly what happened to a 29-year-old in Germany. Malignant melanoma was found on his skin while getting a tattoo removed. If you detect them early, they're curable. If you let them go too long, they will metastasize and kill you. So you want to get them evaluated as quickly as possible. I don't really think too much about skin cancer, to be honest with you. It's actually never really crossed my mind. Dr. Timothy Joshin says it should. The concern is mostly tattoos on or around moles. That's really the big key is where, where you have moles, you want to you know, be very careful with that when you have tattoos placed around them. Or if you have, already have the tattoo, you want to just get those moles evaluated periodically to make sure they're not changing. Chris Alameda has been tattooing for 11 years and says he will go out of his way to stay away from moles. I learned um, you know, from my mentor, he told me not to tattoo over moles. Uh, it could be cancerous. If it's a portrait, say, of Marilyn Monroe, we try and incorporate the mole, you know, make it look like her mole. Um, or if the tattoo is going to be going over it, we, you know, try and suggest that we move it. Usually on, on chest tattoos, um, it happens a lot where people tend to have moles on their chest and then we kind of have to, you know, stop the line before the mole and then start after the mole. Um, try and keep a little bit away from it. That's especially important for people who live in the desert. A lot of skin cancer out here. Huge population with skin cancer out here. Dr. Joshin says he saw about 2,000 cases of skin cancer last year. 100 of them, melanoma. We have a very active population that are out, out in the sun. So the more sun you have, the more sunburns you have, the more moles you have, are all things that increase your risk of developing a melanoma. And it's not just the elderly who are affected. You know, we have people in their teens that, are, that have developed melanoma. Um, we've had people in their 20s, 30s, so it's really the whole gamut. Dr. Joshin says the best way to protect yourself is to get checked at least once a year. So it's really important if you're going to get a tattoo done to actually have an examination first to make sure you don't have any unusual marks because melanomas kind of will, in most cases, have some signs that you can detect before it actually gets worse. And if you take care of your tattoos, you will also be protecting your skin. I suggest taking care of your tattoos forever. So sunscreen definitely helps in the sun, uh, protecting it, keeping it bright and colorful. I stay covered up all the time and I don't get in the sunlight. You pay so much money for them and you to take care of them, this and that, the last thing you want to do is get something beautiful on you and watch it completely fade or watch it turn into something that kills thousands of Americans each year. Megan Trelecki, CBS Local 2 News, Palm Desert. Well, I don't know about a tattoo this weekend, but I can tell you this, we're going to see plenty of sunshine.